Assalamu alaikum. Friends, today I'll be talking to you about a, a study that's called TECOS. The full form is Trial Evaluating Cardiovascular Outcomes with Cetagliptin. So it's a trial on Cetagliptin. Cetagliptin is a dp 4 inhibitor. It's a drug uh, manufactured by Merck, Sharp and Dome. Uh, and this trial has been conducted in 2015. It's one of the famous trials. The goal of the trial was to evaluate the dpp 4 inhibitor Cetagliptin compared to placebo among subjects with diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Um, as we know, in 2008, uh, the FDA mandated that any drug which has to be approved for diabetes mellitus should have uh, cardiovascular safety. So this was one of the uh, landmark trials. Uh, the study design was that it is a randomized uh, controlled trial. It's a placebo controlled trial, double blind trial. So in this trial, cetagliptin 100 milligram was used in around 7,332 patients versus uh, placebo, uh, which was used in 7,339 patients. The inclusion criteria were diabetes mellitus, established cardiovascular disease, hemoglobin A1c between 6.5 to 8 percent. The exclusion criteria where patients should not be on DP4 inhibitor, patients should not have been on GLP-1 uh, agonists. Patients should not have been on thiazolidone dione in the last three months. Another exclusion criteria was patients should not have history of two or more episodes of severe hypoglycemia and patients should not have a EGFR of less than 30 ml per minute. The duration of the study was three years. Mean patient age group was uh, 65 years. 29% of the patients were females and all the patients were diabetics, 100%. The primary outcome of the study was cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, stroke, or hospitalization for unstable angina. That occurred in 11.4% of the patients on cetagliptin versus 11.6% patients on placebo. But the p-value was less than 0.01 for non-inferiority of cetagliptin versus placebo. The secondary outcomes were the hemoglobin A1c fell uh, 0.29 percentage points for cetagliptin versus placebo. Hospitalization for heart failure was 3.1 percent for cetagliptin versus 3.1 percent for placebo. Hospitalization for heart failure among those with history of heart failure at baseline was 7.4 percent for cetagliptin versus 7 percent for placebo. So how do we interpret this TECOS study? Among diabetic patients with documented cardiovascular disease, cetagliptin was non-inferior to placebo on the outcome of adverse cardiovascular events. There was no signal for an increase in heart failure hospitalizations which some other antihyperglycemic agents had been associated previously like saxagliptin in Savartimi trial. There was no increase in heart failure hospitalization among those with history of heart failure at baseline. That was an additional plus point for cetagliptin. Cetagliptin was also associated with improved glycemic control in this trial which was characterized by a reduction in hemoglobin A1c and a need for fewer additional antihyperglycemic agents or uh, for the need of long-term insulin therapy. So this study showed neutrality. The hazard ratio was around 1. So in short, TECOS showed that cetagliptin is as safe as placebo and it did not increase the 4-point MACE, meaning major adverse cardiovascular events and it did not increase the uh, hospitalization for heart failure thanks for watching bye